A demonstration, audio description, introduction. The Rotunda of Dublin City Hall, a room decorated with gold leaf and fluted columns. In photos of Dr Lynn, her hair is always braided ornately to crown her head. She takes care of small gaunt children. As the poet delivers her poem, each section is said by a different image of her, till at the end the room is filled with many poets. Dr Kathleen Lynn was one of Ireland's great humanitarians. Born in Mayo in 1874, she devoted her life to the care of the sick and for 35 years ran St. Alton's Hospital. Her connection to the Rising came about through her interest in women's suffrage and her sympathy for Dublin's workers, whom she supported in the Great Lockout of 1913. Made captain of the Citizen Army on Easter Monday, Kathleen had to climb over the high gates in front of City Hall to take up her post under Sean Connolly. When City Hall was captured by the British Army, Kathleen Lynn might have escaped because the officer who first encountered her thought she'd been brought in to attend the wounded, but she proudly declared herself to belong to the Citizen Army. Held for eight days in Ship Street barracks, Kathleen and her companions were starving, sleep-deprived and lice-infested by the time they were marched to Richmond barracks and then Kilmainham Jail. Jessica Trainer was born in 1984 and hails from Dublin. Her first collection, Liffey Swim, was published by Daedalus Press in 2014 and was shortlisted for the Strong Shine Award. The poet climbs the steps into City Hall. She follows the oak balustrade down the marble stairway into the rotunda. A demonstration. Letter by this morning's post to say I may go home for Xmas if I won't have a demonstration. Dr. Kathleen Lynn. What would drive this doctor to jump out of reason and into the fire of rebellion? Haunted by skulls that boast through the skin of children ghosting the alleyways, dying young in silent demonstration, I raise my own demonstration against my limits as woman and doctor. I think of those I've watched dying, praise the mercy of gunfire that scythes through women and children. I number those dead, count their skulls. My convictions temper in the fire and quick climb of what follows. The dying man brought out and shot at dawn, the ever-dying Ku Cullen with his necklace of skulls, all that spitting revolutionary fire. And my part in that demonstration won't be forgotten, but as a woman doctor put down to hysteria or a lack of children. For what are women themselves really but children living and dying without reason? They say a real doctor might cure me, could measure my skull and tell its emptiness, demonstrate my zeal was nothing but a mindless fire. A rebel's dying stokes the nation's fire, but starving children. Ask this doctor to number our gains in skulls. Expect a demonstration. <laughs>